Welcome to MCA's Coffee on Campus. I'm Ryan Larson. And I'm John Knight. We want to thank you for tuning in today. We hope you enjoy. So, uh, the weather, right, bro? <laughs> Congratulations to Tyson Palmer, who is committed to Grand Canyon University. Tyson joins two other seniors who have committed to GCU and is our 11th senior to make a commitment for next year. And it's only February 1st. We're excited to see the spirit wear in the hallways for those 11 who have made their commitments. Just a reminder for all of those interested, the theater workshop, Falls, Rolls, and Tumbles, takes place today in room 209 from 3 to 5 p.m. We would also like to let you know that the homecoming chess tournament sign-up sheet is on Mr. Peterson's door. More info to follow. We also want to congratulate again all of those representing the MCA homecoming court. A special congratulations to the freshman Prince and Princess Benji Bruce and Hannah Hobus. Sophomore Prince and Princess John Knight and Elijah Haas. Junior Prince and Princess Injo Cho and Abby Ruro. And finally, we, want, we would like to congratulate our homecoming king, Tucker Burquest, and our homecoming queen, Lauren Stacy. Homecoming week is in full swing, and we hope everyone is enjoying Multiplicity Day and Boys Tag Day. Today's BOGO is at Chick-fil-A during regular business hours. Remember, you need your coupon. Also, here is today's medallion clue. It's not in a classroom or in the hall. You, will, you also won't find it in a plain view on a wall. Did I mention that it's plain to see? However, you cannot touch it unless you have a key. You may search from 7.25 to 3.30 daily, just not during class time, of course. Mrs. Burnham is looking for 11th and 12th grade students who have taken personal finance currently or in the past and would like to participate in the 2017 annual personal finance decathlon. It is an exciting competition for high school students that engages your content knowledge as well as your critical and creative thinking skills. Last year, MCA sent two teams to the state championship hosted by the Federal Reserve Bank of Minneapolis. Of course, it's super fun to be out of school for the day, cheer the Federal Reserve Bank, and eat an amazing lunch. Please see Ms. Burnham if you would like to participate. The deadline for the sign-up is Monday, February 6th. In MCA sports news, the MCA boys basketball team unfortunately fell to the Leicester Prairie Holy Trinity Bulldogs last night by a score of 54 to 51. The Mustangs were led in scoring by Elijah Coleman, who finished with 14 points, and Justin Mason, who finished with 11 points. The MCA girls basketball team picked up their third win in a row, defeating the Leicester Prairie Holy Trinity Bulldogs 71 to 63. This is a valuable win for the Mustangs, who stay undefeated in both conference and section play and hand the Bulldogs their first conference loss of the season. The Mustangs are 8-0 in the conference standings and 12-6 and overall, with the Bulldogs hot on their trail at 6-1 and in conference standings and 13-5 and overall. Just a reminder, all four JV and varsity teams will be competing on Friday in this year's homecoming games. The Mustangs will be taking on the Spectrum Sting. Come out and support your Mustangs and help them swat the Sting. Finally, have you ever wondered what goes on behind the scenes during our show? Well, our own Josh Elin, Blake Ott, and Tyson Palmer have put together a video that gives you a glimpse into our world. Check it out. Welcome to TV production class. Let me take you on a tour. So back here we have the audio room. This is where all the talent audio, music, and sound effects is monitored, monitored and chosen. So as you can see we have a big soundboard, a couple monitors. We have Tyson here working on it, but in here we have our technical engineer. Now you may notice it's pretty loud in here because of all the fans keeping everything cool. I don't know all this stuff right here. Back here we have our shading station where it controls the lighting in the camera so it's not too light or too dark for you to watch. Alright, if you follow me out of the shading room, in here is the main room. This is our recording room. This is where everything happens. This is where our accounts sit and they do their stuff. 
read the news like you guys watch. And then we have our mic right here. And behind you, we have our cameras right here. These are very expensive cameras. I think they're $80,000 each. And then we have our lighting right here, which is controlled in the shading room. And then we have our teleprompters and stuff like that, so. And finally, we have our control room. This is where all the work happens behind the scenes. First, we have a producer. He monitors and adjusts anything in the video. And then if, over here, we have the teleprompter. He scrolls through the words as the talent reads the words to you and brings you the news. If you follow me over here, we have our graphics person, which brings you any videos and special segments in the video. And we have our uh, switcher right here. He switches between cameras and gives you the best camera angles so that you can enjoy the show. And finally, we have our director that sits right here. He commands everyone on the set and in this room to bring you a perfect show. And he tells you he tells the switcher to switch through the camera angles. And that's where all the content on your TV comes from. Thank you for watching. That was just a glimpse into what goes on behind the scenes. We would like to thank Josh, Blake, and Tyson for putting that together. And we would like to thank all of our crew who helps to make each show happen. That does it for our show today. Again, I'm John Knight. We would want to thank you for tuning in today. We look forward to bringing you more MCA news and stories on Friday. And I'm Ryan Larson. For John, myself, and for all our crew, thanks again for watching. Stay classy, San Diego. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.